Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and this is video number five in our Homeschool ABC Collab series. This week's letter is the letter E, E for Earthquakes. <music> Now the Homeschool ABC Collab series is an open collaboration between homeschoolers on YouTube sharing our different experiences. We take a letter of the alphabet each week and we apply it to our homeschool. So that can be E for earth science, uh, we're doing earthquakes, it could be environment. Um, so we just take that letter and we find a area of our homeschool that it applies to and we create a video. For us, this week was earthquakes, and now I've seen this hands-on demonstration before where you spread the frosting on the plates, and you take two pieces of graham cracker, and you talk about how the tectonic plates move, how they rub against each other. There's different types of movement, which for a long time, I didn't realize that there was different ways. I just knew that the plates were rubbing, and it was creating an earthquake. So we talked about the different ways that plates can move, how they move, what's under the plates, what part of the what layer are the plates actually a part of? So let me show you how much fun we had actually doing this demonstration. Check it out. So it's, it's Friday morning and we are studying earthquakes. And I'm going to apologize to my kids' as, um, charter school teachers right now. Right off from the get-go. If you guys are watching, I'm so sorry for my kids' behavior today. Not only am I giving them Frosting, which is loaded with sugar, but and also has red dye in it. So things might be a little out of control today. I'm sorry. I apologize right now. So my graham crackers aren't really soft. They'd probably be better if they were softer. But these well, they are... they soaked them in water. They like oh, they them. soaked theirs they, in they water. To the bottom. Maybe we'll move on to that part. But let's start with this part first. So we've got our... What do you think our graham crackers represent? Part in my messy kitchen. So our graham crackers represent, what do you think? I want to eat it. <laughs> they're, they're the two plates that push together. They're the two plates that are going to push together. And what do you think that red stuff is under them? Blood. Magma. <laughs> it's magma, or it could be the mantle, right? Because the mantle's right under our crust. So if we have two plates, let's push them. Let's not be rough with them, but let's just push them so they're bordering each other. Okay. So pushing them together, oh, oops, basically. Mine was the wrong way. It was supposed to be like this. Okay. All right, so when you're looking at the Earth's crust, you've got these two plates that are rubbing up against each other. You can take them and kind of rub them back and forth if you want. And it's oh, causing... Uh oh, no, it's broke already. So it's causing that tension between the two plates, right? There's different kind of fault lines. There's actually several different kinds of fault lines. One is a convergent fault line, and that's where your plates slip. And one kind of moves... Um, uh, up above. So one goes underneath and one will go higher. Oh my gosh, we're eating frosting. <laughs> so let's day. see if we can make like a convergent fault. You might have to lift up your graham cracker a little bit. <laughs> see what? What? So a convergent fault is where yes. one will slip Stuck. under the other one. Ooh, no, it's, it's getting softer. Oh, your plates are already breaking, huh? Oh no. I, I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Did yours get stuck, get stuck on the plate too much in your magma? You're just going to have to push them together. I'm just going to have to push them together. Mine did. Josiah got his. Assume that this is a plate. There. Okay. It's even though it's destroyed. So we've got convergent fault lines where one is moving up above I the other. do it. Ah, she can't do it. Then we've got divergent fault lines where the magma rises up and it pushes the plates apart. Can we push the plates apart for, with our magma? Yes, that's a lot. <laughs> We're not eating magma. We're moving our plates apart. So the magma is going to push our plates apart. That's our divergent. We're just, Whoa! We're just going to assume that that's a Let's just plate. assume that everybody is dead in this earthquake. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got our transform fault, and our plates are moving sideways against each other. So let's move them back and forth. So there's different kinds of fault lines we can have. I don't know if Noah's going to be able to move his back and forth. We're just going to assume that this is like the mini destruction thing. We're going to assume that's the big one that California is waiting on, okay? Yeah. 
All right, what is it called, um, from what we read, what is the location when it's on the surface of the land? What's the that called? The epicenter. The epicenter. And what's it called when it's below the land? Oops, focus, sorry. focus. Focus. And my camera doesn't want to focus right now. It's <laughs> focusing on the backyard. <laughs> All right. So that is our graham cracker earthquake demonstration. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Help you understand there's different types of earthquakes. <laughs> we're gonna eat graham crackers and frosting. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the only thing we we're supposed to learn was just eat graham crackers. <laughs> Noah made Noah made a good point. What could it create when they rub up against each other? What's one of the things it's created? Also, could create a mountain because they can. Like, that's right. They can kind of create a mountain against each other. <laughs> I love frosting. Okay, so you should be aware that if you do this experiment, what's gonna happen, Lydia? Seriously, what? I thought I taught you better than that. What? <laughs> so as you can see, I had so much fun with it all the way from my sixth grader and fourth grader clear down to the kindergartner. They had a great time. It was a good way to get in there and actually see how things form, how they rub up against each other, what an earthquake actually is. And it's so low prep, so easy to do, and it's something that everybody can be involved in. So make sure you join the collaboration this week if you haven't already. This week's letter is the letter E. Be sure to mention this channel and refer everybody to the playlist. And then leave me a link down below of your video. I'd love to add you to the playlist and the collaboration. It's always fun to work with other homeschoolers and get ideas from each other. Hope you guys are having a great week, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.